In this video, we will go through and create a windshield um, that will fit into the passenger section um, from existing geometry. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to create the actual kind of arc shape for our windshield first, and then we're going to go about worrying about the part that's actually going to fit into the windshield. So one of the things we can do is we're going to go to create, and we are going to type, I'm going to call this new windshield. So for me, it's new windshield. For you, it can be whatever it wants. Once again, I'm in my correct project file. I'm calling everything new because I'm calling this project folder new car. So I'm going to say OK. And one of the things we need to do is we need to find a work plane that slices the right down the center. The good news is, is that if I go over to my T9 passenger section, I can go into the origin folder of that and I believe that there is a plane that slices this right in half. Now I can tell that if I go to my top view and I try to find that plane that goes right down the middle and I can see that it's there. So I'm going to click on that YZ plane and I'm going to flip around here and look at my look at my isometric view. Now I got to go to my pencil and once again it's going to flip on me. I can go ahead and flip this around and I'm going to zoom in here. And you're going to note that I can go ahead and choose this XY plane. I could come over to my origin folder, and you're going to notice that those are the exact same planes that are here. So let's go ahead and click on that XY plane, and it's going to flip for us. And you're going to notice that I'm right down through the center of the car right now. Now, one of the things that we're going to want to project for ourselves is we want to project the geometry of this top line right here. So one thing we can do is we, just want, we really just want the beginning and the end of the line. So we're going to click you know, here, and we're going to go ahead and click here to give us a reference point of where this is going to begin and end. I tell you what, let's go ahead and project the geometry of this top line and this line back here. So there's multiple ways that we can go about creating this windshield. Now, I make a bare bones windshield with my students, but you want to, you might want to do things a little bit more intricate than the way that I'll choose to do them. So one thing that I'll do just to, just to show a point here is we can do a very basic windshield where I can go, you know, we're going to come from all the way back here. Um, even if, let's say if you wanted the windshield to go over the top of the back and kind of rest back here, you can, because you can see where this splits. I'm going to do a very, very basic, um, you know, three point arc windshield. So I'm just going to kind of come in here and click on that. And we can go into offset now. And I'm going to offset in a distance. And you might try to find a thickness. And uh, 0 0.07 sounds good. 0 0.07 here. Now, you could come up to the point command and do a much more intricate windshield if you wished. Um, just for the sake of time and for learning this video, I'm going to come in here and just create this basic arc windshield. So I'm going to click on the line command and zoom in. And let's click and draw a line that goes right through here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side, but going the opposite direction. Point along here. I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to grab the trim command and I'm going to say trim these off. And I'm going to come up here and we're going to trim this off. Now I have this real basic windshield but I want to give myself a surface to work with. So we're going to go to finish sketch and it's going to flip and we're going to go to extrude and we're going to click inside that object and we'll do a mid plane extrusion. Now if I look down on the top view right here looking down on the top view I can say since I'm doing mid plane it's like well how far out do I want this to go do I want to go all the way to the edge in my original design so we're at two and a half right now um, I can come back around and take a look at my isometric view and say well how far out exactly do I want this windshield to go we need to make sure you know it covers the passenger section for sure so let's go ahead and stay with two and a half for now you know we can always go back and change that and I'm gonna hit my check mark and we now have that part right in here. We now have this. Now what we want to do is we want to try to find a way to create that part that's going to come up into the object. So we're going to go up to the plane command and one thing I want to do is I want to click on here and drag down. I'm holding down and I'm dragging straight down. And if we go to our side view to help us out, I obviously don't want this work plane to come down into my passenger base. I want it to fit, but I don't want it to come down and hit the passenger base. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep, I have 0.5625, let's just make this real simple, and put in 0.55. That sounds fine. So we're going to go ahead and hit our check mark. And I have this plane down here now. What we want to do is go up to our pencil. Let's click on that new plane. Make sure we're on work plane 1. One of the ways you can make sure you're on work plane 1 is just go to your browser bar. There's the plane. And we're going to click right click and go to slice graphics and what we want to do is when we project geometry we want to get the geometry of the outside edge of this so once I see all of this we're gonna click and set that I'm gonna right click and say okay we're gonna to go to offset and we're gonna offset that in a distance and let's do a distance of 0 0.05 whatever distance you wish we can go ahead and ch check the thickness of the actual automoblox car if you want to and we're gonna hit enter and that's gonna give us a surface here on the outside and we're gonna go finish sketch so now that we have that and we're down again we're down in we were down inside the object notice where that sketch is it's down inside the object it might look like it's on top but it's really not let's go to extrude 
zoom in, click there. And instead of distance, we're going to go to two next. And you're going to notice it's going to come right up into that object right there. Say OK. And we now have for ourselves that shelled out object, but it's going up into the car. So we have this. Let's turn off the visibility of this work plane. It's kind of in the way to me. So I'm going to take away that visibility. And if we want to change the side over here, if we want to actually draw something on the side, um, we can go ahead and do that. So why don't we? Let's go ahead and go to our pencil and let's click on this surface and let's uh, project the geometry of this inside arc. And I'm going to go to line and let's go ahead and just close off this shape right here and go to finish sketch and let's go to extrude and we're going to flip directions and let's put in you know a real thin distance 0 0.02 you know is that too thin for us we can look here on the bottom maybe 0 0.02 is too thin let's try 0.2 and see what that looks like that's too thick let's go to 0.1 um, that looks okay so 0 0.1 say okay click on the house button we have this right here so we want to mirror that to the opposite side so let's come up to mirror and it's going to ask us what feature are we mirroring the last extrusion we just did extrusion three what's your mirror plane let's go to our origin folder over here and it was the plane that sliced this in half which was the x y plane and say okay and if we flip around to the other side we can now see that we have mirrored that so let's go ahead and come up to default and we could go dark green um, if you want to try to find some kind of a clear color like here's a clear green one kind of a see-through color let's do that and let's go to return and let's hit save let's say okay now what you notice what we just did we just created for ourselves our own little windshield on this car but it's all given from the existing geometry we even have that piece that's going to cut right down into the object so let's go to save again you know and if I get out of this and I go back to open, I'm going to find my new windshield and let's go to open again. And you're going to see that work plane turned on over here. I'm going to right click and take away that visibility and look at what we have. You know, just for the sake of discussion, let's come up here and make this, let's just make it dark green so we can actually see it. Look at that piece that you made. And this is all from the existing geometry. You know, we decided an offset distance. We did that. But look, look at that cutting right up into that arc that you made. That's really neat. We're going to go to save. And one thing you got to take away is that we've been making parts from existing geometry. Now, any student can come back and edit this into something else they would rather have. We could have gone in also when we sketched this. And uh, let's do this real quick just to give an idea. Um, if I go to sketch and I click on the side here, you know, we could have gone in and created points along the top and then added in more of a shape to this. You know, so you could have come up here with point, you know, and along this point right here, just said, you know, I'm going to sketch along the top up here like this. And you could have said, you know, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do a spline control vertex. Let's zoom in here so we can see the points a little bit. Sometimes you got to zoom in to get those green dots. And, you know, and as I drag this thing around, you might be saying, you know what, after I've clicked through all those dots and I say create, you might be saying, you know what, I want to create something that's a little bit weirder of a shape here. So you might say, you know what, I got, I got the spline command now and I got this and I'm going to go ahead and now come up to the line command and I'm going to line this into here. I'm going to right click and say, okay, I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side. And I'm going to come into here and click. And then I'm going to go ahead and just project the geometry of that top, that top arc right there. And I can say my, you know what, there's my weird looking uh, windshield. You're like, you know what, Mr. McAllister, this right here is what I wanted the whole time. And I click there and I say, you know what, we're going to go to two and we're going to go over to the other side and I'm going to click on this side and say, okay. And there's, you say, you know what, that's actually the windshield shape that I wanted. I didn't want that two point arc. Well, I'm going to come up to save, go ahead and get out of this and go back up to open and say Automa blocks parts in an assembly and say OK and I'm gonna say yeah I wanna update it and look we're back to here now the only problem is, is it's not clear anymore let's double click here and we'll go up to dark green and we'll come up to clear green one and go to return and say save let's go ahead and save what we did and you can see there's your new windshield that you made looks kind of different you can see that other arc in there because that's what this goes up to you know we could have changed this at the beginning and made this arc go all the way up into the top you can tell that we did not tell this to extrude up here to this point we told it only to extrude to here because this is solid now it's not like see-through so that's one of the issues that we could have had with this object but notice how we've changed you know we've gone in and changed the contour of the geometry. You know, I could also go in and double click on my windshield and go back to our original extrusion too. You know, we can go back to edit feature and you might say, you know what, we did two and a half. I want something a little bit skinnier. You might say, so I'll say, you know, 
2.25 and hit my check mark and go back up to return and look at your windshield now. So you've been able to go back in and actually edit it and modify it as you've went along. So kind of a cool looking windshield. You know, this new windshield we made, you're going to notice that it goes over the back. It doesn't just rest here. So there's ways we can go in and edit this as well. Um, but you'll notice it kind of flips on the back. You know, in the past we made windshields that went over the entire truck, uh, you know, the truck bed back here. Made it look kind of like more like an SUV with a, you know, something that goes right over the top of the truck bed. So this has been a video on how to create the windshield for the Automoblox car um, from existing geometry within the passenger section. Also, how to go back and edit that existing windshield using uh, points in the spline command.